Okay, all right. So I want to give you this example on the on the very very big case that is the Formula One front wing with the wheel. And uh, right now I have chosen the the copper solver. So first I start from here, and uh, I will initialize solution from the inlet. Yeah, uniform conditions on the inlet. And velocity right now is a one eighty kilogram per hour. Okay, it will take some time because the number of uh, sales are 3.82. You can check it from the info and size. So the number of uh, sales are 3.82 million and number of nodes are 9.076 nodes. Okay, so if I solve this equation and I will just be solving for maybe 10 iterations. Just want to show you that what will happen with these two methods. And uh, you can see that the, the CD graph and our left graph the, that is converging like from the two starting point is two. And uh, finally the value would be around 0.6 so it converges to that value maybe 10 iterations. So it will take more iterations to be stable. And uh, if you take a look on the control plots uh, for the velocity and uh, if I plot them on the, let's say on the symmetry plane. Okay, so uncheck the global range and uh, draw these uh, boundaries. Okay, without the mesh. So hide the edges and now click on the save and display. And uh, if I change to the simple bandit and color map size is 20 levels and uh, I will take the traditional type of the, the control plot type BGR and apply. So you can see the velocity, the starting velocity was uh, 180 km per hour. It's right now it's a 325 km per hour. And uh, in some time we would be getting because there's acceleration also around the, the suction side of uh, these uh, wing sections. So we can expect this thing. Okay, now second thing is that I'm going to change the method to the simple. And also if you take a look over here, it is uh, taking more memory. And even during the runtime, it is going to take the around 25, 22, 23 GB RAM. And as soon as I change the method to the simple, you can observe the mesh requirements. It's now going down to the 17.7. .7. And uh, again, I will be starting from the, the standard initialization that is uh, with the one, 180 km per hour on the inlet and initialize. And again, the same thing, I will run this case for the 10 iterations. So I want to show you that's uh, how much convergence speed we get with the copper solver as compared to the, to the simple method. And also the benefit we are getting in terms of the memory is very small. Okay, now again I will be starting with the new calculations and this time the calculation will be much faster as compared to the coupled solver because coupled solver is taking more time per iteration as it requires a more memory, it requires a more CPU power and that's why it's much slower. And here you can see the speed of the solution over here. So it takes only 4 minutes. Okay, now solution is stopped after the penetrations and you can see the convergence and the drag value is now changing from 25 to the minus 5 and uh, although it is going to the point 5, 6 which is same value as we have seen there and but if, if I take on the take a look on the velocity field and the same on the symmetry plane
So you can see the velocity, maximum velocity, which is uh, different not on the symmetry plane, but it's still 388. And uh, last time we didn't change to the simple uh, without global. So the maximum velocity we are getting right now is 1742 kilometer per hour. And uh, if I make them in a similar way, So you can see this is the, what is happening here. So 1742 km per hour, that is a very, very high value. It will require more time to settle through the, its uh, true physical value. So now I think you understand that what are benefits of the, of the couple solver or the simple method. And, uh, but it requires some more resources. That's a little bit off site for the couple based solver.